Did, did you want to talk about the Alex backfield uh, with Alex Collins and Rashad Penny and kind of what what that looks like? Because Alex Collins looked absolutely fantastic. He's rostered only 50.5% of ESPN leagues, but then he got dinged up. Yeah, luckily I was able to uh, involve him in a trade with the Chris Carson roster manager. Um, but I mean, 20 yards or 20 carries for 100 yards, like you said, and a score. He looks good. Like he he does not look yeah. like a backup running. Like he has still some zip from his Baltimore days. Um Carroll said that Collins has a shot to play week seven versus New Orleans on Monday night. But also, I mean, you can't just hold a guy all weekend on the off chance that he plays. Cause then if he doesn't play on a Monday night game, then what do you do? Unless you have Penny as well. Who's coming off of uh, what the pup list. Um, yeah. So they're, they're basically designating him to return from the pup. So he's going to start practicing, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to play. Yeah. So then you got Travis Homer and DJ Dallas. Um, yeah, I, I just, even and, if he's and I don't active, trust, we, we, we do not trust Pete Carroll running backs on this podcast with what Pete Carroll says, because, uh, I mean, I trust Chris Carson. Him, I just don't trust the Pete Carroll coach speak. Correct. So hip and glute injuries could mean that he literally lost his butt or he doesn't have hip joints any longer. Like we don't know what that means coming from Pete Carroll. Yeah. Or he's, or he's just totally fine. Right. Yeah. It, it, Pete Carroll will not give it up. So, um, do you, do you think that Chris Carson's coming back to play again this year? Cause I do not. Uh, a neck a herniated neck a herniated yeah so chris carson has a herniated disc in his neck and it's basically about pain tolerance um ty hilton had the same injury he had surgery to fuse the vertebrae in his neck um and chris carson i guess could very well end up having the same procedure depending on all things and how it goes and his personal pain tolerance. Um, but he hasn't been able to play. I mean, I feel like I feel like a running back is a little bit different from a wide receiver. I think it's the way a, he plays. If he yeah. comes back at all, it is after their bye week and week 10 against Green Bay. I think that this is the let's put him on by, send him out for the three games, get him to or put him on IR, get him to the bye, see if he's okay to come back after the bye. If they go out and lose the next five games or four, you know, in the meantime, then the same, they're going to ask the same question about Chris Carson that they're going to ask about Russell Wilson later on. You know, if they, if they lose out, why bring those dudes back? Well, I mean, Russell can just continue to run the hurry up offense on a field by himself for the cameras, even if they're not going to put him back into play. <laughs> he'll he'll keep himself busy. <laughs> Did you see what he yelled at that receiver? To, so dumb. And he was on the field yelling at the guy. Oh, oh yeah. At the end of the game. Night, God, yeah, at the end of the have game. Have you ever seen a player go out and call a coin toss who's on IR? Like, uh, not surprised. He went out there for the overtime coin toss. If there was anybody that would, it wouldn't surprise me that it was Russ Wilson. Yeah. Where's the red light? Oh, Russ. <laughs> um. So I I do not. <laughs> so how much are you Seahawks? How much are you bidding on I, Alex Collins? I'm assuming that he's going to be fine. I think that if you make the assumption that Chris Carson's not coming back, which I think you can safely make. And even if he does come back, I still think Alex Collins is going to be in some sort of a timeshare with Chris Carson. And he could come back and re-injure it and be out again. Right. Um, It's a neck injury. The guy runs upright and leads with his face. (laughs) He puts his face through people. He does not juke. No, he doesn't. Um, 
So 20 carries against Pittsburgh and that game was brutally physical. Yes. Like they were smashing each other. Um, and if you're desperate at smash and if you're very desperate at running back, I, I do think Collins is worth a, a 20 plus percent bid um, just to get him on your roster, assuming that he's going to play on Monday and then the following week is against Jacksonville, which is a great matchup. Um, the their schedule actually isn't terrible at Green Bay. Uh, Arizona is is OK uh, at Washington. San Francisco at Houston and then the playoff schedule is at the Rams home against Chicago at Detroit. Um, so that that week 17 for title week is uh, is very nice if, if you can get there after the Rams in Chicago. If you can get there. Yeah, I believe on the 20 to 30 percent for Alex Collins. I actually like him more than I, maybe most of these other guys, I guess. If yeah, Carson, and if somehow Carson misses forever. R- Right. And and Rashad Penny, uh, neither of us really trust him to ever stay healthy. It would not be surprising to see him come back at some point and then not even make it through the game. 